Hi, this is Westwog here, and I'm going to show you how to trigger an actor. And this is using point eight one of Game Salad. And I'm going to leave it in iPhone size because I don't want it to be that large on the screen of, for GameSalad.com. And I'm going to make an integer attribute. I'm going to call it trigger right. And so in this game, I'm going to make it so that it moves right and left the actor. We'll leave that at zero. I'll make another integer attribute. Call it trigger left. And f I'm going to make three actors. And from request, so design 219 asked me to put a zebra in it. So I put a zebra in it. And put it there. And then I'm going to go into actor 2. And I'm going to create rule. When touch is pressed, change attribute. Game. Trigger right to 1. And I'm going to put a, and a, a display text on top and call it right. Make it blue. And so there you go for first actor for right. Now actor three I'm going to display text left can make that blue and I'm going to create rule when touch is pressed change attribute game trigger left to one and so this will move the actor left and right so I have to go into my zebra actor that I want to move to create rule when attribute game trigger right equals one move right at speed 150 I'm gonna copy that paste it Okay, copy, paste, there, and now I'm going to make it in game, trigger left, one, and then move left. I'm going to put my actors on, right, my left. So he goes right, and then now I will have to go into my right actor and then create rule when touch is released, change attribute game trigger right to zero. Ah, what happened? Try it again. Okay, change attribute. Game. Trigger right to zero. And create.
create rule. Touch is released. Change attribute. Mean left to zero. And so whenever I let go, it stops. And so it can move up left and right. So that's how you trigger another actor with another actor. There you go. See ya. Bye.